you're one of the leading you know, scholars in the mm. world on this topic, but you're also one of the most controversial ones. I mean, you've been called, quote, the mm. foremost Jewish anti-Semite mm -hmm. on planet Earth. Some people mm -hmm. even call you a Holocaust denier. Mm -hmm. but why does your work generate these types of responses? Um, I think it's a kind of paradox, to tell you the truth, because as you well know, my actual political opinions are very conventional and well within the mainstream. For example, long after the whole of the left went over to this notion of one state, I was still advocating two states, yeah. whereas the whole left was <clears throat> trying to anchor their thinking in things like settler colonialism and this and that. I was very firm in just in repeating what international law said. I, I thought that was the best vocabulary uh, to try to reach a broad audience. So the controversial part comes, I think, from there's a certain element of, I will say, fanaticism to me, which is I read everything and I'm ready to cite chapter and verse and everything. So I don't give my, so to speak, adversaries any wiggle room. There's not a kind of debate. No, I go in for the kill. Yes. You're lying. That's not true. That's false. And I <clears throat> am relentless. I know that I'm relentless because I spend, a, I think it's a kind of ideological war. Um, and I'm, I am relentless. I know that, but that's because I do the work.